Hi there. My name is Ramona Remesat and my company is Connect Your Angels. I just wanted to say thanks for tuning in and watching my video. We've had a lot of new people in the last few weeks subscribing to my channel on YouTube, so that's very exciting. So I just thought I would start today's video with giving you guys a quick bit of contact information because there are a lot of new people, as I said. So once again, I'm Ramona. Hello, and thanks for tuning in. Welcome. Um, and my company is Connect Your Angels. My website is connectyourangels.com. Notice it's the number two, not the word two. And if you'd like to send me an email, you can send it to spiritualmailman at connectyourangels.com. All right, so how are things going? Spring is here, spring has sprung, although outside here in Calgary, it's still not very spring-like, but that's okay. It's gotta come sooner or later. Uh, maybe it's the spring energy or I'm not sure what it is, but I really am uh, getting drawn to working with my crystals again. So I'm going to do today's reading with the Crystal Kids cards, because why not? And we all have a little bit of kid inside of us, right? So this will be the reading for uh, March the 25th right through to the end of the month, the 31st. And as we always do, if you're new here, what we do is we draw three cards. One is for Monday, Tuesday, one is for Wednesday, Thursday, and one is for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And uh, the thing I like about these cards is we can use them for multiple purposes, which you'll see as we get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and start to shuffle the cards. And we'll see what we get. Okay, so I'm going to pick that one for Monday. Tuesday. This one will be for the weekend. Okay. All right, so we'll get started. So for Monday, ooh, I like this. It's um, Dalmatian Jasper. I'm going to hold it up a little bit closer there so you can see. Get the camera to kind of focus on it. There you go. So it's a very spotty stone, just like the name Dalmatian implies. And you'll see on there, there's some keywords, goodwill, protection, generosity, and the keyword is joy. And what this is where you could see what I was talking about. There's different ways that you can work with these cards. So on Monday, Tuesday, um, work with that affirmation on there. I am so happy when good things happen to other people. When you repeat that affirmation, you are gonna have that joyful vibration in your heart. And joy is one of the emotions that vibrates on a very high plane. And why we are always talking about vibration, especially high vibration, is because when you are feeling the feelings that emit high vibration, so those are the feelings of joy, happiness, excitement, passion, when you feel those feelings, you emit out to the universe that high vibration, which then in turn turns you into a magnet, meaning that you are better able to attract into your life all the things that you are trying to draw to you, whether it's you know financial abundance or that happiness or health or the perfect person or the perfect job or the perfect home or whatever it is that you're trying to bring into your life, you are much better, um, sorry, m more able to do that and to do it quickly when you are vibrating at a higher rate. So that is why it's important to try to feel those high vibrating emotions as much as possible. So Monday, Tuesday, work on that joy vibration. So you can one, work with the affirmation, like I said, and it is, I am so happy when good things happen to other people. So you can work with the affirmation. You can also work with that crystal. If you have that Dalmatian Jasper stone, carry it with you. If you have it in jewelry, you can wear it, whatever you have. Uh, if you don't have that actual stone, you can incorporate some of that um, what do you call it, the patterning, the, the spotty patterning. If you have something that has that pattern, you can wear that. If it's a scarf, if you're a woman or whatever, you know, you can work with it that way. And the angel's message then for the Monday, Tuesday is all about reminding you to stay in the high vibrating emotions as much as possible. So doing things Monday, Tuesday that bring you joy, 
whatever that looks like for you. Okay, some people like to do some kind of physical form of exercise that brings them joy. Other people like to um, maybe just be with their children, that brings them joy, or to go with friends, or maybe it's to take some self time for yourself that you haven't had a chance to, so maybe sit in a nice hot bath with some sea salt in there, which is very detoxifying. So again, however that looks like to you, but to be committed to bringing you that joy, to commit to doing it, to, to putting in the time and the effort to do it. And it doesn't have to be anything that takes a long time or doing anything that costs a lot of money. Most of the stuff you guys can do in even 10, 15 minutes and still get the benefit. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so that was Monday, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, neat. We have the geode. Sometimes you go into um, rock stores and you'll see these. The geode, just on the outside, looks like a big ugly hunk of nothing. But when you smash it open, there's all these beautiful little crystally things inside, little crystals. I don't know if you can see that in the picture. Um, the keywords here are mathematics, future planning, effectiveness, and the affirmation you can work with is, I am confident in my abilities to be successful in everything I do. Successful in everything I do. And uh, the angels right off the bat are saying now, keep in mind, success is not what society has, you know, kind of thrown upon us in terms of what success is. Success is more what it meet that it's about feeling what that feels like to you. So, you know, some people say I'm successful as long as I'm happy and healthy and doing things that make me feel fulfilled, right? It's not about driving that car or taking those types of vacations or living in that kind of home or whatever, whatever. That stuff that society has sort of imposed on us. So this is about taking some time Wednesday, Thursday to feeling out what does success really mean for you? How does that look for you? And knowing that you should feel confident in your abilities so that you will be successful in everything that you do. Um, take this time now to do some planning, right? Set some goals, they're saying, so that it's about being, you know, you can't get to where you want to be if you don't really know how to get there. You need a roadmap, right? So if you are very focused on something right now, um, I think you're kind of feeling a little bit of a struggle on how to get there or maybe some blockages So sit down and plan it out in little baby steps, right? How you're gonna get there what those goals are and then as you reach each goal you'll feel confident in your abilities like the um, Affirmation says and you'll feel more propelled to keep going to the next step and to complete that goal and to complete the next one the next one the next one Okay, it's all about those little baby steps so Again, if you also have some geodes, you know, you can keep them around you. I would say put them on your desk. If you work, have them in your workspace so that you can use the energy of the geodes around you. Um, but yeah, this is about some time to do some planning, setting some goals, using that logical part of your mind. A lot of times I tell people to kind of shut off some of the logic because that's what gets in our way of uh, tapping into our divine guidance because we feel it, we get that intuition, but then our mind kicks in and our ego kicks in and starts to talk us out of things. So a lot of the time it's a bit of a tug of war going on and I say you gotta you know, learn to sort of shut out some of that ego stuff that's going on in the head. But this is a time, middle of the week, to be a little more logical, get a focused plan going, and again, work with the affirmation, which is I am confident in my abilities to be successful in everything I do, okay? and work with the geode if you have one. All right, into the weekend. Ooh, I like this one. Uh, I don't know if this will come across in the vid in the video, but the, this stone kind of has like a royal blue, blackish kind of color. It's called Dumortierite. There, I guess you can see it's kind of blue. Um, the keywords there are standing for something, stamina, potentiality. And the, the affirmation is, thank you for giving me more than I need today. And our keyword there at the bottom is patience. Again, not a word we like to hear because we do live in that society where everything is instant gratification. You know, we don't like to wait for anything. So uh, this may be a little test for you. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you may find things are particularly testing your patience on those days. 
If you find that is the case, know that there's a lesson there and just kind of embrace it. Um, but also know, this is a reminder again, if you have been working with your angels, and I hope you all have, and been asking for things and tuning into their guidance and you're following the guidance and you're just not seeing anything happening yet, this is their reminder that you know, they're busy, they're not forgetting about you, it's not that they're not going to bring you what you've asked for, but sometimes the timing isn't right. So you have to wait for that, you know, them to line up everything or to build the foundation so that when they do finally give you what you've asked for, it's not going to crumble. They, you know, you need something to put that on to, you need that foundation, okay? So um, to know that that's what they're doing. They're not just having a little coffee break and, you know, and talking amongst themselves and not doing what you've asked. They're working. Um, you may need to have some patience with that. So if you, again, if you have two more to write, um, you can wear it, carry it around with you, keep it by you through the weekend. That will be great. And if you don't have it, you can work with those colors. So the royal blue kind of color, wear that if you have it in clothing or accessories or whatever. That will still, you know, you can still work with the energy of that stone. And um, it's about stamina. They're reminding you, this kind of goes along with the card before it, where I was talking about success and knowing that you are successful. A lot of times people, if they don't see instant success, and this also plays on the idea of patience, if they're not successful at something right off the bat, they think they've failed. And, you know, you have to go at things many many times often before you are a success at something it's all about trial and error right think of all the great inventors of our time you know uh, when they created the light bulb how many previous inventions before that came that didn't work right so where would we be today if you know Edison had said screw the whole thing um, you know I'm not going to keep going right you have to have that stamina that push, that drive to keep going even when things get tough. Okay, that's the message about there. You have that potentiality in you. That was one of the key words on the card. You have the potential to do anything. So don't let the negativity, ego mind kick in and tell you, you know, you're not good enough. You're not smart enough. That was a dumb idea. You shouldn't have, who made you think that was going to work? You know, all those things that our egos tell us. Just turn that off or hit the cancel. You know, imagine you're hitting imaginary button on your computer. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Don't listen to that voice. And know that you have that potentiality within you and you just need the stamina to keep going. And know that in every quote unquote failure, it's not really a failure, there's a lesson. And the key is to just learn from that so that you can tweak your whatever it is you're doing so that next time you go at it, you'll be more likely to be successful. Okay, so lots of different levels. Hey, don't you love how these cards work? I, I think they're really, really cool. So there you have it for another week. And I do appreciate you tuning in. If you're new, or even if you're not new, if you like these videos, I do invite you to uh, ask your family, friends, whoever, to join the channel as well, to, um, to tune in, because it's all about building a community, right? And uh, the more we can share with everybody, the, the better we are and the stronger we are. So I also invite you to visit my website. Again, it is, here we are connect to your angels.com and there's the email address spiritual mailman at connect to your angels.com and I also have a Facebook page the same name connect to your angels so you could just look that up on Facebook having a few challenges right now with it and being able to do posts I can schedule posts but I can't do like spur of the moment posts if that makes sense so we'll have to get that figured out but I do post a lot of neat uh, different things on there from time to time. But um, yeah, check out my website. If you're interested in any of my services, you can simply send me an email. And just because I might not be where you are doesn't mean uh, you still can't have a reading. I do do readings over the phone or by Skype for people all over the world. Sometimes it gets a little tricky figuring the time zones, but we make it work. And uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much me. Thank you again for tuning in, everybody. I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful week. Enjoy the spring, and I hope it's really sprung where you are. And we'll see you all here next week. Thanks.